Hi there Aquarius, how are you doing today? Welcome to your three month forecast and we're going to cover April, May, June 2024 and this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node. So we're going to look at a little bit of everything in this reading. We're going to look at the energy that's surrounding each month, uh, the foundational energy and what energy might be coming towards you, what healing might be taking place, uh, what situations might be coming up and uh, spiritual transformation, energetic transformation as well. So let's have a look at what spirit want to talk to you about with the next three months of energy and situations. Let's have a look, Aquarius. What's happening for you? There we go. Okay. We have in April, fifth house, creativity. So this is your opposite energy. The energy of Leo rules the fifth house. But your energy in your fifth house might be different. Um, likely is different. This is how we're creative, what we're, our creative ideas. Also what, uh, what makes us shine, what makes us really come to life, perhaps, in our creative endeavours. Um, the fifth house also rules uh, romance and relationships too so it could be to do with creativity in partnerships we've got libra energy i balance and this libra energy also rules partnerships but we're focusing in may on the balance if you have libra or aries in south node north node combination this could be quite impactful for you as well it doesn't have to be at all and we've got mercury retrograde reinvention so as we enter Aries from the 1st of Aries to the 25th, uh, 1st of Aries, 1st of April to the 25th of April, we've got Mercury retrograde in Aries. Um, okay, we're balancing life out through the next three months, bringing more creativity in. It could be that you feel like your creativity is suppressed at the moment or it's being hindered in some way. Let's take a look what's happening in the physical. There's more balance that's needed in some area and that comes into fruition and comes to light in May. And we have a, a real reinvention of how things are balancing in June. It comes all back into balance in June. I feel like there's changes that will be made in June to help this creative flow, to help this creativity integrate fully into your life somewhere. Let's have a look what's happening in the physical. Okay. So what's happening in April, Aquarius? First breath, beginner's mind. Yeah, what do you want to create? What do you want to bring to life? That's a, a theme, a strong topic in April and May. Repairing the veil, forgiveness. This could be in partnerships, something healing within partnerships and balancing out within partnerships. But this is also balancing the your spiritual life and the your life in 3D, in the physical. And um, this is human. This is this feels very uh, high priestess energy. This could be your where things have been maybe going at full speed, full pelt ahead, and no room for creativity, no room for honing in in spiritual. Because repairing the veil is also repairing uh, the veil with uh, spirit and giving some creativity some space to spirit but that's coming back into balance in may and in june spirit of the river movement towards adventure so once we've ignited this creative energy in april we're bringing things back into balance to allow more room for creativity and in june we're moving towards more creative adventures things that that make us feel alive Okay, let's have a look at what energetic activations are happening through the next three months in parallel with this activity. Let's have a look at activations and gateways opening. 
Okay, we've got for April, Thoth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, Divine Magic. There is something here about spiritual pathway. I feel like this Great Teacher Awakening is spirit teaching you so that you can teach others. But it needs this kind of creative energy, this um the headspace especially with mercury retrograde being and it could be something happening or a, a a discovery an experience that happens through april that really initiates something into balance to be in this reinvention stage it could be something returning from the past um perhaps a gift or a talent or a connection or a guide um in the spiritual realms but there's a real flow of energy that's coming in to support in in for june where we're going towards let's have a look at may gateways from may for aquarius energy please spirit where are we going all at the top okay right let's see i am presence light body activation accessing the divine within this is really igniting your spiritual awakening or deepening on your spiritual pathway. But bringing more of your spiritual, your spiritual world into the physical world. And for June, Palladian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. So there's something closing out from the past that kind of brings itself known throughout April and June, uh, April and May, but there's a coming together of soul tribe, coming together of you and your guides in a much stronger way. For some of you where you, um, clairsentient, clairaudient, um, it's, something's coming in where you can hear, see and feel on a deeper level. It's going to be more profound spiritual teachings happening for you. And I feel that this is so that you can teach others as well. Let's have a look what's being healed through the next three months. What kind of healing journey are we on? For Aquarius, please, Spirit. Okay, we're doing it this way. Okay, for April, I'm down here. Healing. <laughs> we're initiating healing. Something's been out of balance. And I feel like it's... There's been all work and no play, perhaps. Um, there's been a lot of focus on things that are practical, but not in alignment with your creative self, your creative ideas, your creative endeavors, something. And it could be just, it doesn't even have to be anything um, that takes a lot of time. This is allowing more room for reading or painting or writing or poetry or something that really ignites creative flow let's have a look at may we have love with libra energy being here as well this love feels quite connected to romantic love and this could be repairing something that's happened in romantic relationships this could be forgiveness that's needed in romantic connections to be able to move forward or deep love connections and let's look at June. We're up here for June. There we go. Say what you mean. With Mercury being here as well, there is a strong energy of being able to speak, communicate truth. Through Mercury retrograde, it's all about conscious communication. Communicating could be speaking, could be social media. Uh, with Mercury ruling the third house. It's kind of like you only need to speak a few words when you say what you mean and al just allow things to flow naturally rather than thinking too much about what to say or being worried about things not being in balance. Actually, things come into balance when you just speak your truth. Okay, let's see what kind of action energy we have with especially with this beginner's mind coming in we're kind of like clean wiping the slate clean and doing something 
in a different way, taking a different angle, different perspective on something. This is really unlocking your own wisdom, especially through May. There's a lot of truth that's coming to you through the month of April, a lot of truth, and that helps any healing that needs to cycle out. Okay, we've got sacrifice. This is getting rid of anything that doesn't serve us. And the sacrifice, what's been sacrificed. I feel like there's been time, energy, effort, resources sacrificed um, at the detriment of creativity. So it's about allowing the space and bringing that back into balance because something's been sacrificed that hasn't been in balance and it's kind of put you off kilter. But that's coming, it's coming to light in April and the balance is gonna be restored as we go into May. Yes, <laughs> and there's gonna be a lot more time for play. A lot more time for play, especially in love connections. And this doesn't have to be romantic, this can be friendships. This can also be with spirit on your spiritual journey with because we've got powerful self activations happening before we come together in like soul tribe connections and confidence achilles this energy is all around being confident with your aim with your direction you might not see necessarily where you need to go this is all about being in the present moment and knowing in the moment you know exactly what direction to go in exactly where to strike exactly what you want to do the confidence when you're speaking and communicating the confidence and the assuredness in yourself that your voice is heard i feel here as well okay let's have a look at what doors and opportunities are coming your way over the next three months. Let's start with April. What's happening in April in terms of opportunities for Aquarius? Yeah, it's time to balance out working to, if you've been working too hard um, and it's been draining you, in April that's going to become really obvious and you're going to want to shift and there's going to be energy to support this shift going into May so it won't feel so unbalanced. So for April, we've got forgive and forget, a ritual cleansing of pain and lies, arise and waken, see a new sunrise. So in order to have this beginner's mind and this creativity energy come into full force, it's about letting go of anything that we feel um, was unjust. This is anything unjust is balancing out in May. Trust that it's balancing out in May. And there's time for healing. Okay. Let's have a look. What's happening in May? Jude Song. A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. Be creative about where you find rest, where you find healing and where you find love and where you find play. Because this is what brings things back into balance. And Aquarius energy is all about doing things, perhaps that's unusual, perhaps that's slightly different, but really in fun and celebration and friendship connections and love. The unconditional love and the healing is all Aquarius energy. Let's have a look at um, June. Secret sketches. Wonder and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories in sketches for others to find. This is the creativity. So if you sketch, paint, write, this is really an invitation from spirit to, to create that energy or allow room for that energy to come back in. Because once you're in the flow, you're in the flow. You, I feel like you are very powerful at communicating very powerful and you might communicate through pictures through pictures through um social media through words through some kind of illustration but there's a creative way that you communicate that is profound and very special 
and spirit want you to pick that back up again it's kind of like it's got lost in the mundane aspects of life okay what words of wisdom does spirit have for you aquarius for april may and june please spirit So for April, we have take charge. Don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and arrange them the way you want. This is that beginner's mind. This is about the sacrifice. This is bringing, taking charge to bring things back into balance. And by doing that, this is where healing happens. Take charge to release something that isn't working for you to shake things up and that is big Aquarius energy and Aquarius obviously moving into Pluto earlier this year is about taking things and transforming them accepting the changes accepting the endings and beginnings oh my god there we go we have for May courage wish upon a star and release all limiting beliefs yeah so as soon as things start coming back into balance, so as soon as we start feeling a bit more replenished and also confident, we feel more confident by taking charge and our confidence comes into fruition in June. But this is really the courage to wish and ask for things that we want. And being in the present moment, being fully in ourself, in our awareness, is how this all happens. We've got a lot of forgiveness around what, um, this feels self-forgiveness as well as with others uh, in other partnerships. With this being in Libra energy, this could be romantic partnerships or work relationships. And in June, we've got Unleash, hold nothing back, expand into the universe. When you've got something to say, Aquarius, say. When you're fighting for something, when you've got, um, a value that you're standing by this is your time to shine in that space and you have other people that will resonate with your messages something very powerful about message a message you have to convey I want to say to the world but certainly to your to your uh, collect your collective and there's healing in your words as well Okay, let's take a look at what situations might be occurring, what energies might be occurring in each month. I'm going to use a different uh, tarot deck for each month. So we have the full energy of the tarot deck for each month to see what comes out. So let's have a look at April. What do we need to know for Aquarius spirit in April? Page of Pentacles. This is the beginner's mind taking charge and the pages are all about kind of curiosity testing learning trying things out the tower the tower energy is very good for you in april things change very quickly things come to light very quickly and then when you kind of know what, what it is you want this sacrifice is easy when you know what you're sacrificing for. It's almost like being in a state of not being fully fulfilled. Like there's some things that you have in your life that will feel pleasurable and fulfilling. Um, but there's, it's like settling for 2% instead of 72%. <laughs> there's just, there's not a balance happening with with what makes you happy, with what brings you joy. So we've got the Page of Pentacles, the Tower. We're making a lot of change in April. Knight of Wands. Yeah, passion being ignited again and temperance. <laughs> this is things coming back into balance everything in moderation i feel like for a lot of you you've been trying you've been working really hard at something um but spirit saying we need to also have time for play for love for creativity 
okay what else yeah we're not sure that we're on the right path we're not sure we're fulfilled we're not sure about some things perhaps not sure what to sacrifice page of cups our curious energy happening again it doesn't matter if it doesn't work it's all about in it it's not about creating a work of art it's about unleashing your creativity and the king of cups wonderful there could be somebody that comes in to kind of shine this light and help you with this beginner's mind um because it it makes things more emotionally stable and balanced um where something might be building up that is feeling quite tense knight of swords you could be making a decision quite quickly here for something but this is being in a state of balance emotionally before you make any sudden changes but this tower moment feels very within and things then changing on the outside but you can sense this tower moment coming I feel you can sense this coming it's like a realization okay oh we've got two knights on the bottom of the deck as well knight of cups knight of swords okay what do we need to know for May for Aquarius energy please spirit what do we need to know for May Ooh, okay, we have the moon. Yeah, this is all about going within. Because there's a lot of action out. And this is really about understanding what's within, what's hidden. What gives us emotional joy and pleasure. Ten of Wands. Releasing the burden. And you'll see that it's a burden. Eight of Pentacles. The Chariot. And Strength. So your opposite energy here, Leo energy. Okay. In May, anything that isn't emotionally fulfilling will be heightened you're still working hard you're still you're still able to see the steps you're taking forward in the material in the physical but there is something about freeing yourself from constraints here and having the inner strength to move away from something that doesn't feel quite right to invite more of this love and this play in it's really taking courage we've got this the chariot the strength and the courage energy it really is about being courageous in your sense of self because what we're going towards is this communication this confidence this saying what we mean this movement towards adventure but it's the courageous energy that puts us in the right flow for this reinvention this spirit of the river energy this creative energy to be able to unleash we need to let go of things that are holding us back and making us feel limited or like there's a burden and we've got the ace of swords you will get clarity aquarius a new idea clarity truth coming in page of wands yeah we're in creative flow knight of wands absolutely in creative flow oops sorry i've just <laughs> just completely moved the table then can you still see yes a knight of pentacles we have yeah there's a lot of pages a lot of knights there's progress being made here but this is all about test a knight of swords we've got the knight of swords twice in the same position okay feel like there's something else here for you one second Is there anything else for Aquarius here? <laughs> Page of Swords. Yeah. Le learning something new, Two of Wands. Having the courage to step out 
into something new there's a lot of courage here yeah, we've got another flip here i thought there was something else okay this was like the last one the wheel okay so you might be learning something new if there's anything that you have thought that you want to learn the energy in May really supports that because there, there'll be more space. There'll be more space for learning, for curious, for play and the wheel. Things are turning, but that's because of a, a courageous action that you're taking through April and May. But there's such power coming in June with communication, with something that you're expressing in the world or to others in some way, could be in romantic relationships with this love and this Libra. Um, and it could be a profound connection with spirit as well, with the veil energy. Let's have a look at June. What do we need to know for June? There's self mastery going on in May with this night's energy, like progress towards understanding towards enriching experiences this is all about emotional fulfillment satisfying your we've got the knight of pentacles uh the knight the nine of pentacles sorry and we have the lovers yeah this is really about what's bringing you joy this doesn't have to be romantic connection but this is really about something that you love deeply love and this could be this creative endeavor this something that you do that's creative this could be falling back in love with your life what you do there's a lot of love the nine of pentacles you're still achieving it's like slowing down with something i feel like it's slowing down with work for a lot of you or something where you're running around but it's not getting it's not really bringing any results into fruition or any progress but by stopping and bringing in creativity, your everything takes just a different edge, a different takes on a different energy, and that's what ignites all of this uh, flow. Say what you mean. This communication, this re this reinvention, and Aquarius energy is all about reinvention. If you have Mercury in Aquarius, this could be uh, quite strong for you. What else for June for Aquarius, please? very accomplished in June. I feel like you learn a lot. I feel like you're far, especially if you've got Mercury and Aquarius, a fast learner. And it's like you're learning and absorbing a lot of knowledge. <laughs> the star. This, so this is your energy. This is healing. So we've got healing in the love space and healing in the throat chakra space, really coming into authentic self. And with this I am presence being this gateway being initiated in May, we're moving into full, this is what I want. This is how I want my life to look. This is what I want room for in my life. And freedom. We can see that with the, the Knight of Swords energy, the Chariot energy, the Knight of Pentacles energy. There's like a freedom to move the way that we want to move without the burden. We've got wishes coming true in June. Okay, let me see what else. What else for Aquarius, please, Spirit? We have the full card. So your energy again, Aquarius. Taking a leap of faith. Really taking a leap. This is going on an adventure. June is all about adventure. Moving towards adventure. And temperance. So we've got temperance twice here in the same position, actually, with um, as April. Keeping things in moderation, keeping the balance. But the difference between the Libra energy and the temperance energy. So we've got Libra Sagittarius energy here is Libra is all about balance as in equality balance and just balance. And the temperance energy is about moderation. So it's about the equilibrium. So it's thinking about how those two energies are playing out in your life. We've got the Page of Cups. 
we had the page of cups before yes oops we had the page of cups before St i feel like this is staying in play mode staying in play mode and we've got the chariot again yeah this could be somebody coming to you with some kind of offer of love for some of you with the lovers card coming out and the love and play coming in may yeah this could be moving forward in some kind of new love or a new experience of love in an existing connection perhaps Yeah, there's like a cheekiness. Um, but like an innocence of the ch of cheekiness happening. What else do we need to know for June for Aquarius energy, please, Spirit? Whoops. Okay. Let's have a look. What else? We have... King of Swords. So this is your energy coming out here, Aquarius. This is your intelligence. Using your intelligence in a different way. I feel like using your intelligence to really bring your dreams to fruition. With the Nine of Pentacles, the Star, the Fall, the Temperance, and the Lovers. You've got... You, hmm, I'm, let, let's get another two cards. And then I'll say... Well, you've got one, two... Five major arcanas in June. Big shifts. Six of cups. This, so this could be somebody coming back from your past. But this is also reigniting the dreams that you had in the past. And we've got the nine of swords. Bringing things back into balance so that you can have mental peace with the mercury energy quite often there's like a replay of stories from the past or an anxiety around the past in some way but you there's clarity here because you've got um temperance the fool the star the chariot the lovers there's a lot of major arcana energy coming through we've got things turning in your favor we've got fate coming into play through may moving you into authentic expression in some way and there's a confidence surrounding you in areas where you are going after your dreams where you're taking a leap of faith where you're in this equilibrium this temperance energy and you're playing with the balance and the temperance yeah okay and it will be ready to oh no we're not going there yet it will you'll be ready to Open yourself up to the world, to communication, to expressing yourself in one-on-one -on -one connections with the lovers, energy, make choices, make more balanced choices, make more fulfilling choices. Feel like there's more fulfillment needed. Um, in areas of work and romance, perhaps. Let's see how spirit are walking alongside you through these next three months how is spirit helping you along this particular journey at the moment through these three months through this energy through these activations communication we're transforming how we communicate for sure mercury energy there's a big transformation happening in how we communicate this could be any kind of communication writing speaking social media anything let's have a look what else what else coming into play we have energy balance <laughs> we've we, they, we've definitely be, been off kilter we've been out of balance with action with um with a lot of things we're coming back into balance in may so anything that feels like it's all a little bit 
not quite right. This tower energy coming in directly in April is shifting all that away. So there's more room for love, for play, for healing to take place, for, for conscious communication to happen, for things to be in flow, for you to be able to feel free and unleashed. Feels very powerful, very, very powerful. Oh, we've got freedom. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. And this is your energy, Aquarius, being in this complete freedom energy. And we've got the balance again here with the chakra balance. And chakra meditation could be helpful over, particularly through um, the, these next three months. Um, asking for what you need. And that could be space, that could be inspiration, that could be a conversation. Uh, just asking for what you need in and communicating, being very conscious about communication, especially through Mercury retrograde 1st to the 25th of April. But we're coming back into balance here as well with this freedom energy, spreading your wings, being able to feel this unleashed energy going into this complete expansion into the universe holding nothing back being completely free in fully in your aquarius energy aquarius sun this will be very uh, prominent for you as well aquarius mercury aquarius sun um in particular um but very strong aquarius placements you're going to feel this in all areas of your life uh, this energy because it feels like life turning energy with all of the major arcana that's come for you in June. Let's have a look at some advice for you now, Aquarius. Also, Aquarius, where any of this forgiveness is needed, where any um, where any situation is calling uh, for forgiveness or calling for compassion in some way it's really understanding the emotions that surrounding that situation that bring brings in that forgiveness and that compassion because it's not about seeing the same side of the story it's about understanding that the other person is feeling something specific um, and whenever we get this freedom energy and the chariot energy and with the uh, black and white horse this is the yin yang and that always feels very prominent with the moving away from being restricted because we're moving away from the confines of something to find our own way, to find our own path forward. <laughs> We've got the journey. <laughs> exactly. It's time to prepare for a journey. And in June, we're going on an adventure. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. So it could be traveling for a lot of you. Aquarius, but there's definite adventures happening as we approach or go into the month of June. Because we, we're in more of an expansive mode, as more of a spontaneous mode with the Sagittarius energy. Let's have a look at heart space because we've got the lovers and this love healing that's coming through. Let's look at heart space guidance from spirit here. Let's have a look. What do we need to know about heart space? we have kindness this is the compassion you are a humanitarian 100 percent your energy aquarius made of love and you are able to share that energy with others this is to do this is absolutely the humanitarian kindness energy is absolutely aquarius energy and you've already come up twice in your own energy reading there is um Something about how you are communicating, what you can teach, what you can, what you can express to others, and the space that you create for other people to express as well, and to express their own truth. Um, because we've got this Palladian activation, this coming together, this not holding back with your opinions, your views, um, that is impacting others and helping others do the same. And we have cooperation. 
In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. There is, this is the forgiveness energy, but this is again, the kind of co-create, cooperation, collaboration energy. I don't, I want you to be able to see this, there we go. Okay, let's have a look now, some advice from Spirit as you move through this energy, as you move through these next three months. Okay. I was going to say something else then, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, this, so with, um, with this cooperation energy, this kindness energy, the compassion, with what's happening in the throat chakra energy, with communication as well that's coming out because spirit's really helping you with being able to communicate um exactly what you mean have clarity in yourself exactly what you're feeling um and being able to communicate that in a way that people understand and connect with people through some kind of communication and inspire others through communication this is also speaking to spirit and connecting with spirit and the oh, making making time a uh, conscious space conscious communication uh, through these activations through these gateway activations lie in spirit be generous of spirit so this is this is you being in your compassion space um and being generous with that um this is this also with the lion spirit we've got leo energy with the fifth house and these strength energy coming out and the lion spirit coming out so this feels very strongly um keeping things in balance because leo is the opposite energy of aquarius so it's bringing things into balance when they're in opposition let's have a look at some more advice for you aquarius what does spirit want you to know as you move through this energy April is a really good time to start thinking about something that you want to start. Not holding on to anything from the past and thinking, okay, I've got a fresh, fresh slate. I've got a clean canvas, blank canvas now. What do I want to do? We've got butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Transforming in communication for sure. But it could be in other ways too for you, Aquarius. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan for how influential you are in communication. I feel like that's why spirit want to speak to you more and communicate with you more and connect with you more over these next few months. Because there's something very divine about how you communicate, how you create, what you're creating and how you communicate something very special about how you hold space as well let's have a look what else i feel like there's one more for you aquarius here we go okay it's these two oops okay <laughs> we could have um, gone through the whole deck then there we go Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Yeah, not getting overwhelmed with anything where there's been all, all work and no play. Uh, not being overwhelmed, being able to take charge of, of everything that's coming in. Um, because when we take care of the little things, the big things kind of take care of themselves. And I feel like that's what spirits are highlighting here. And we've got hummingbird spirit, be here now. Being in the present moment really helps us tap into the journey we're on, but also this depth of love, this play, understanding the what our mind is saying, how we're absorbing information, what we want to communicate. Being in the present moment allows us to communicate from a place of flow and, and be spontaneous as well. 
Okay, Aquarius, I hope that this has helped you with energies that you're experiencing as we go into April and what to expect and how things might be playing out in May and June, the energies around you. Very strong in love, in play, in spiritual connection, in courage as well with the um, with this Leo energy that's come out for you as, uh, as well through this. Um, and a lot of big life changes happening, but so that things come back into balance, so there's more fulfillment happening in your life and in situations around you and coming towards you as well. So I hope that you found some wisdom from the messages from Spirit in the reading today. Thank you for watching the reading as always with me, and I will catch you next time. Take care.